सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन परफॉर्म द कोड क्वालिटी एनालिसिस प्लस द कोड कवरेज टेस्टिंग फॉर द मल्टी मॉड्यूल प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग द मेवन आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए मेवन प्रोजेक्ट एंड दैट इज द मल्टी मॉड्यूल प्रोजेक्ट and for that project how you can perform the code quality and the code coverage testing if you are working with the multi module maven project then this video is going to help you to find the code coverage for all the modules i'm going to cover all the steps one by one and you can easily correlate with your project requirement and you can definitely generate the code coverage testing and you will get all the answers related to your multi module code quality analysis plus the code coverage testing so first let me explain what is the multi module concept so in the multi module concept we have the parent module the parent module we call is the parent project and this project is having all the code whatever we required in this parent module is also having the permdoc xml file now we have some other modules that we call as the module 1 and for example uh, this module 1 is the project a that you have created related to your banking applications so under the parent module if you are working a project a that is your banking project we call as the module 1 and there this is called the sub module and then we have the another module we call as the module 2 and this let's imagine this is the project b and this is for your insurance application so at a time you are working on the two applications banking and the insurance and they call the called as a sub modules and they are under your parent module we are going to write the unit test cases for the module 1 and the module 2 unit test case this is the third module where we are going to create only for the testing so we call this third module as the unit test module and in this unit test module we are going to write unit test cases related to the module a and unit test cases related to the module b unit test module only having the unit test cases related to the banking project and the insurance project that is your project a and project b in that module you have written only your application code that is related to your banking and in the module 2 you have written the code this is related to the insurance this we call as the project b now we have written all the unit test cases from the module a and the module 2 now how we can get the report when we are going to build the parent module so first we need to build the parent module and when we build the parent module the report related to the code coverage testing should be generated under this unit test module and which will have the code coverage report related to the module 1 and the module 2 also these are the module 1 is the independent project if you run independently you will get only this module related code analysis and code coverage report and when you run this module to independently you will get related to this i want to build my parent module and when i build my parent module i should get the report related to the module 1 and module 2 and you may have the multiple modules like the module 3 module 4 and multiple project so when you build your parent module you should get the code coverage report for all the modules at the one place and that after when you building the parent module so this is the concept we are going to build now let me explain on my uh, um, id where i created already multi module then we will design and create the multi module project step by step all right so this is our multi sonar cube multi module demo project in that i have the module 1 this is the called as the module 1 under the module 1 i have the src main and the test folder in the main folder i have written some sample code module class 1 so i have written some sample code for our testing and there i have created one method called covered by unit test covered by integration test and uncovered so i have created the three method under this one so this will be your java class or you can say these are your code you have written for your banking application here and for this project you have also created the test folder so in the test package you have created your module test so these are the module test you have created the code coverage testing for your 
project and the module one. So when you run this project independently, you will get the report under the target folder, but that is related to your module one. Now we have created the module second. This is a module two and under that we have the src main test this you can consider your insurance project and you have written the code for that insurance project here we have written three functions here also the same functions we can use but you can write your own code you can relate you are writing your java code here so this is the src main java code is here and same we have the test folder under that we have written some unit test cases related to this module 2 and when I build this module 2 project with the help of maven I can see this life cycle so when you build the module 2 with the help of maven life cycle you will see the target folder will be created under the module 2 and that will be having only the information related to module 2. Now we have created the third module that is the unit test cases so under this module we have the src test java. So we have only the test cases. So src test java under that we have the module test and this is the class which is having the test cases related to module 1 and the module 2. So you can see module 1 and the module 2 and we have created the unit test cases for that. So at the rate test 1 and at the rate test 2 which is going to cover the module 2 test cases. So like that you can create the multiple unit test cases for the module 1 and the module 2. You can see these three are the module. Now this pom.xml file is my parent file. So this is the parent file and I am going to build this parent file with the help of maven. Now you can see the sonar multi module demo. This is the name of the parent project and I am going to build. So when I build this project, you can see the build is successful. Now let me go to this project. Now under this project, if I go to the unit test cases, because when I build, I have set the path that in the unit test cases target folder, I should get the jcoco aggregate report. Aggregate means that we are going to do the aggregation of the module 1 and the module 2 at the one place. Now you can see in this uh, target folder, I have the module 1. So individual report you can see here. And for the module 2 also you can see here and if I see the index.html this is for the parent module. So if I click on the index.html I can see this is a module 1 coverage report okay and this is module class 1 and covered by the unit test cases you can see the covered by the integration test we have only the two functions that why it is showing the 100% coverage report here right. So this is showing the coverage report and whatever we have missed we have missed these two functions same we have the module 2 so in the module 2 also we have the coverage report 100 percent because we have written the two functions for that and that is covered under this report right so you understood like we have the aggregate report for the module 1 and the module 2 and that will be created for the both of the project by calling or building the parent project and the report will be generated under the unit test cases because we have done the configurations in such a way when I build my parent the, the jcoco report should be generated under the unit test cases target site folder. So now let's uh, design this project how we are going to design this project one by one and we are going to take the help of this project to save the time.